I'm Jay Culbert, and I'm very happy to say I'm here with Mark Weiner of the Sherwin-Williams Company today. Um, it's almost like Mark doesn't need an introduction to those of us in the industry. Uh, but Mark, thank you for being with us here today. He's an architectural account executive who, boy, we go back 20 plus years, Mark, and it's just, it's been a pleasure knowing Mark, and I thought it would be a value to the group to introduce him and just give some information from his view from a design and architectural uh, view of our world. Thank you, Mark, Jay, thank, for the, you. thank you, Jay, for the kind words. I'm humbled to be part of the team on this. With my young 40 years with Sherwin's, on May 18th. I'm excited to be here with you. And uh, let's have some fun and bring some knowledge to everybody. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. We, we figured Mark and I discussed it. And we said, you know, we'll just get a few quick points out. And then probably in the future, we'd like to do some more of these and uh, really pick on some topics that you guys feel are relevant and uh land well as value for you. So that being said, Mark, we, we were discussing like with all the changes in the world and in our industry this year, uh, you know, from a design perspective or a product development perspective, um, what would you share as beneficial to a property manager or a facility manager? I, I think the big thing right there from a design is the function of the space they're trying to do. And I mean paint. And what are they looking for the results, what are they looking for the product for long-term, if it wants to be washable, stain resistant, what are they looking for? And then what type of colors they wanna go with, or do they wanna go with some metallic wall paint to give it a pop on a wall? That's some of the things for, for the property management. I'd be, you know, I'm thinking now in the future. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, better environment for their employees, better morale. Yeah, and for their clients. Sure, sure. Excellent. Thank you. Um, we also talked about resinous floors and just flooring in general. Um, what are you seeing as, again, as a benefit to a, an owner, manager, facility operator? What type of maybe resinous flooring system is being specified that's really of value to them? That's a really great question, Jay. I think it's all got to do with like companies like yourself out there with the service level you give them. The key to any resinous floor is surface preparation. And what I'm seeing out there in the, in the medical industry, I'm seeing a product out there, a decorative uh, flooring system, like a bioflake we make. It's a heavy duty product. And that's what I'm seeing in the medical facilities. I think in Providence, the VA has got a project coming up with some of that product in the building. I'm also seeing a, a big in, in, interest in, in uh, cultivation centers, which I know your company does great work in some of them in the New England area. And I'm seeing a product we got called Fast Top, and it's the 23, the new one, and it's beautiful product, lots of colors. But when it comes to resinous floors, you and I know this, it's, it's, you can be creative as a designer and architect and choose any color patterns to design. So I think that's the most creative thing in picking colors for a project, not just the walls, the ceiling, for the floors. Good point. Good, very good point. Yeah, I've seen it. Some of the metallics are, are amazing. It's, it's really um, crazy yeah. what you can create. I mean, yeah, I didn't even touch base on the metallics, but I got that out when I do a Teams chat. My background is a blue metallic. It looks like an ocean and a commercial job. That there is the, that is the up and coming products out there, the metallics for floors, for certain uses, offices, sure. hallways, a laundry mat. It's, it's beautiful. It's not a high cost per square foot. And it's just very creative and it's up and coming as far as I'm concerned. Good feedback. Good information. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Welcome, Jay. So what we try to do is like give, give the audience just, you know, if there's one thing that you'd say, look, as an owner, again, a facility manager, property manager, you know, what's the one thing they could do with their vendors, you know, like their service providers um, in conjunction with product manufacturers like yourself? Uh, to set themselves up to make sure that they've got A, the right specification, and B, that specification really fits the specific use for their intended spaces. What would you Great recommend question. to do? Great question, Jay. I think it's going to be a team approach. You know, with your team, your sales rep, myself, you know, where, where your clients open to all of us, maybe doing a walkthrough mm -hmm. or doing a Zoom call or a Teams call getting there, listening to what their needs are. And then we come up with a game plan, product specifications that'll fit. We can tailor any product. We have so many vast products of resin floors. Most people don't even know we have a big line of resin floors. 
So I think we got to take it as a team approach. You and I, your rep, the owner, I'm a believer of all a team approach and listening to what they really want, the outcome. And we also need to really know the usage of that room where the resin floor is going to be. If there's chemicals, cleaners, that's very important to get a listing of all the chemicals and cleaners, especially in pharmaceutical, which I do a lot, and you do a lot in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. You know, and I'll mention, thank you, Mark. I'm, you know, you mentioned the team approach, and I will say that you guys really walk the walk on that line. Um, yourself and your team of industrial and commercial reps with the division managers and whatnot have been, you've been great. So, um, and you, yeah, Jay. surface. Absolutely. And surface prep, it doesn't matter how good your products are. If it's not prepped right, it's, it's not going to last. No, and that's, that's the big thing. You're right on that with the surface prep. You got you to gotta do the right surface prep. You can't, you can't change it. You got to do it. No, can't cheat that. Not at no. all. Good feedback, Mark. And again, I just wanted to make sure we introduced you to the group. You've been such a value to us throughout the years, to me personally, to our company and our, and our industry. Um, you know, so we wanted to, so the one thing that really will, will hit home is team approach, uh, have the client contact their vendors, whether that's the service provider, the manufacturer and both, and really get everyone's head together to make sure we're doing the right thing for them. I, I think the big thing we can say, it's open communication by all Yep. and, and asking what the budgets are too. Sometimes you guys say, look, you're going to do 30,000 square feet. You know, we know the type of the function of the room. What is your budget? What are you budgeting for this? And then yep. we can team it up with a product. We may say, you know something, your budget is great, but the product will not work in there. So we have to be honest. So that's when we all talk and it's a team approach and we go, you go back to the client and work with them. Very good point, Mark. Yeah, it can, it can look really good on paper. If it doesn't fit the finance, it, it may not work. So good point. Yeah. Mark Weiner, thank you very much again. More of Mark to come. And we really, we're very grateful that you joined us today and, uh, have a wonderful day. Make it a great Thank day. Thank you, Jay. Always a pleasure. Have a great day. All right. Take care.